Namaste, my beautiful queens, kings. Uh, this will be pick up the card. While I am talking, please choose uh, one card out of five. Um, I am continuing the uh, series of uh, videos where I um, want to try to help you to uh, make the right choice in whatever situation is uh, being given to you. So what my next step should be could be about any situation you please determine the situation yourself i'm gonna look at the cards and see uh, all the aspects of the situation uh whether you know maybe you um uh, you having issues with your job maybe you don't like it maybe they are taking advantage of you maybe you are not being paid enough or your hours were cut or your um, payment was cut or and you don't know what your next step should be should you stay should you look for another one should you go so uh, such situation maybe a family situation maybe a friendship or and or of course a relationship it can be um what uh, so we will just ask uh, the cards uh, what should my uh, next step be and just apply your uh, particular situation to uh, the cards and i will give you the answer so please take what resonate whatever it is and determine please yourself because as i already told you you need to determine it yourself please determine yourself a period of time so what my next step should be within one week or uh, one month or two months or three months determine please because the tarot system uh, I really um, what surprises me that I honestly or oh, will be honest with you I rarely watch other readers uh, very rarely uh, because I simply uh, don't have time and when I uh, do watch uh, YouTube videos I usually watch uh, something educational and I watch Gaia or I watch this my favorite Dr. Romani lately um, and um, when I do watch it uh, I, I I really don't understand it they, they uh, the thing is that they usually don't use any technique and uh, the technique i already told you of the cards one question you put one card if one card doesn't give you an answer to your question because one card you can look at so many aspects so if one card doesn't give you the answer you can add one more as clarification of the first one and it's put one card is being put for one position for one question so when we do the spread we have one specific question to a specific period of time and we put one card and usually when I do private reading I put two why when you do a Celtic cross you put um, the first card is this situation the second one gives additional details of a situation so so when I do you know readers do this oh look Ah, I see. This is what's going to happen. That's that's really not how it, the system works. One card gives you the answer. And if you want additional details or you are not absolutely clear, then you add another one. You don't throw the whole deck and then make out of it whatever you want to make out of it. This is the reason why I don't watch other readers because I get very upset set somehow when I see uh, all this I'm a classical school so the situation your next step in a situation please determine yourself your uh, the time frame which you want to know the answer uh, asking the spirits of a uh, fire spirits of earth spirits of air and spirits of water the guides and the keepers to give us the answers to our question I usually touch it to my forehead to my mouth and to my heart what it means so my mind is clear what I see uh, my mouth 
says what I'm supposed to say and my heart uh, reads uh, deeply into the message I have to be given. So let us go. Five cards, what my next step should be. Number one, and again, girls, I'm going to give you the answers which are going to be here. And remember, if a card gives you something negative, it's just a warning. The cards always help. Number two, number three, number four, and number five. Please, my beautiful queens, please, uh, uh, thank you, I mean, please, thank you very much for time stamps. Card number one, just, you guys, you have to see with your inner vision the uh, number, number two, number three, number four, and number five. What your next step, what you should do uh, within a specific period of time, you determine what, what that next step should be for you. So let us start with the card number one. Uh, nine of wands. Uh, you know what I want? Uh, no, I don't want additional card. Nine of wands tells you, my beautiful queens, whatever your situation is, uh, that you've been standing uh, and holding on um the thing is that you are much stronger than you even think of yourself and this card can be both positive and negative why is it positive and negative because if you uh, if you've been standing in a situation when your interest, uh, interests are being neglected and you keep on standing, you know, you are being, um, for example, it's a job, you are being underpaid, your hours had been cut, your, um, you know, you are being more work that you are being paid for. And this is your ability to keep on standing under the uh, absolutely impossible to handle things, but you keep on standing. Uh, so you are very strong. So you are, you know, like you're that one who takes fire onto yourself. Um, but at the same time, at the same time, uh, you have to really see clearly that if you are, uh, if you are being used and if you are being um, uh, treated not fairly in whatever situation it is, then uh, probably you should just, you know, leave because it doesn't seem like situation is going to, so you are, it's up to you. You are holding this a last wand. You can put it back and walk away. But the thing is that whatever situation you are asking about, um, whatever situation, because you are fighting with some forces, um, uh, this is a situation where you have the... Uh, um, you have the right, you are the one who decides what to do. Uh, something unfinished here. It's a situation which comes from the past. Something is unfinished here. But also it's you being stubborn and you are um, being resistant to uh, the things which, uh, to the changes, you know, for example, marriage. Uh, for example, uh, the, the job or for example, marriage, uh, you know, you know, it's not gonna work, you know, it's, you know, you, you can't change anything, the things are how they are, but you keep, you know, uh, like I say, there is this uh, song of Elton John, uh, I'm still standing, yeah, 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 so I'm still standing, if this is a real, if this is relationship, then it could be uh, again uh, again this is when you keep on standing in a situation which could be hopeless because 
um, this card could be um, either you are fighting for relationship or you are fighting for a freedom of it. Uh, this, this, the thing is that uh, you had in the past very painful experience. Please uh, make sure you click the link under my videos where I put the channel of Dr. Romani. Make sure you're not being dealing with uh, manipulation. So you've had the painful experience and uh, you are uh, right here if it is about a relationship, my beautiful queens, that change of this card is different. You uh, must be careful and uh, pay attention to uh, red flags because uh, you don't fully trust your partner, but at the same time you have very strong character and it could be between you two, um, uh, you're, you're kind of like you don't feel a connection anymore. There is no emotional exchange in this card no emotional exchange or it could be a person is resistant and not just uh, participating anyhow and you trying to figure out what to do if this is a person then it's a card of so-called cold heart or icy heart if you are asking about a person then that person is not going to change his actions anyhow so you are thinking whether i should stay and keep on fighting for this or i should go there obviously if you are asking about a person that person is cold hearted and uh, then um, there is no hope for a cold hearted person you understand clearly that you know it's not one personality who tomorrow or a week later wakes up and becomes different as uh, dr romani says you you can't expect a, a, you know a narcissist manipulator even if you tell him you are a narcissist you are a manipulator he's gonna just stop the uh, psychology ecological, emotional, mental abuse. It's just person is the way they are. So right here, you are very strong. So uh, if it's a person, he's not going to change his way. If the ways, if it's about you, then you keep on fighting for something which is not really... Um, needs to be uh, fought for because the better thing, if you just put this down and walk away. Uh, but if you are dealing with some problems, troubles, and issues not connected with relationship, you are very strong and you can, uh, you know, hold everything together. Uh, this is the, um, the card number one. And let me sip some coffee. Talking too much. You see what I tell you, my queen, so you take one card and it can tell you so much, okay? Uh, don't not necessarily put the whole deck and just make up something uh, out of it. Uh, this is how, by the way, this is how you can see a, re a, a true reader, a real one who knows what, what they're doing. They don't spread 78 cards and tell you um, whatever they are. They take one, two, and they tell you everything. So, number two. Um, Oi, my queens, please, 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 please get away. Oi, my God. Uh, three of Swords, you know, uh, as I already said many, many times, you don't have to be a um, tarot reader in order to know three of swords it's uh in in a classical deck it's a heart which pierced with three swords in this uh in this deck this is there uh, uh like this way please 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 be careful um uh, because right here unfortunately it's um you're in a time of uh, lots of uh, problems again don't take it negatively take it as a warning and when you have a warning you know uh, you know you can do something about it you are in a situation 
in which your interest and other people or that person interest are not coming together you are uh, unfortunately this is the unpleasant lesson from life you know how also this card will say you are you are in a pink fog or in this pink sunglasses we say it and uh, the glasses are off so if it's about career or about if it's about relationship holy moly that is something you want to avoid any every possible way so um this is the uh, of course uh, emotionally very difficult card and very painful feelings and it's a bleeding it's a card of a bleeding heart so um please you have to be careful so if you are making a choice right now for example should i uh <clears throat> should i fly i i experienced it myself should i fly to that city or should i stay home uh i would get this this answer and it was clear as a day you know don't go anywhere but I did go and uh, took me three years to recover that one day when I didn't didn't take into consideration this card so it's um you have to refuse from something in order to keep on going so please don't be uh, uh, you know please Take yourself and your interest, your well-being are the most important thing here because uh, unfortunately, whether it is about job, about anything, this is, you have to separate, you have to uh, separate with someone. Uh, you have to, if it's about job, it tells you, you know, it's better you leave it because then it's going to be a situation which is going to be very heartbreaking. If it's about someone some person then uh, if you stay in this situation unfortunately if you stay and you don't say goodbye and you don't uh, leave unfortunately uh, that person is going to bring you a lot of pain and a lot of suffering of course if you're not sure you can um, you know contact me or somebody else because this is a, a typical card of even if, if we don't take a relationship it's a, of a, a broken heart. It's a card of a broken heart. It's a card of a third party a relationship. It's a card of betrayal. It's a card of... Um, a, please just be careful whatever situation you're asking. But especially be careful if it's about love and relationship. Because uh, this is pain. This is... Uh, the loss this is um <clears throat> they are uh, it's a breakup but remember is sometimes those videos i told you about manipulators sometimes if a manipulator leaves you himself uh, you are lucky because you don't have to later on escape from him and survive um so um uh, arguments and uh, you know uh, it's it's a bleeding it's a wounds in your soul so just be careful don't take it as the end of the world the cards just warning you it just warning you and telling you please be careful please be attentive but if it about love and relationship this is disappointment and this is broken heart so what you can do because we are asking what should your next step be and uh, and so you don't have to deal with this consequences it's better if you completely if you can cut off any relationship with this person or with this uh, workplace or with this friend or with this um, you know um, uh, whoever it is it's better to simply get away before this happens but if it's happening already just uh, understand this also this card means whatever happens um, happens in order for you to start new journey new life you know this is how it is card uh <clears throat> card number three uh what um your next step should be and we are having reversed is this reverse no this is upright and this is uh uh and this is upright so we are having here a reversed a six of cups so 
uh, uh, in this gosh i am running out of time uh reversed six of cups what is the uh, what you should do um this is uh, the card in reverse position is very good sign because some of the cards in reverse position become positive even more positive new opportunities are ahead of you so if you are asking about um, a new job or something else should you go there should you move there yes so um a lot of new opportunities are ahead of you so if you uh, so your next step should be uh, moving forward so it's also the card of knowledge so if you are thinking about going back to school or get some additional education to rise your qualification please do that uh, also this is a good card for um for you uh what comes to relationship because um this is the card when you get a read of a so-called codependency i need to make a video what is codependency because as far as i understand very little of you know what it is but it's actually a physical dependence of from a person so you grow uh whatever was happening to you until now you outgrew this you no longer gonna take i'm sorry bullshit from anybody whether it is relationship or not relationship you are getting rid of old models of behavior you know you are your own queen so uh also um this is the um the thing of um uh, the situation uh in which you are uh, there is a warning in a reversed uh, uh, six of cups the situation in which you are might not be that innocent as it looks so also uh please um sometimes this is a card of it of uh someone who had been abused in childhood had been abused in childhood neglected in child probably uh it could be psychological or physical abuse or sexual even abuse so this tells you that you must please 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 uh get into therapy or lonelywolf.com trying to do it yourself heal those childhood traumas so they stop uh affecting your relationship and your life also interesting thing that some Sometimes uh, it's uh, getting heritage from someone. So uh, now uh, also what comes to uh, uh, if, if the place of your life brings you a lot of terrible memories, uh, then you please have to leave. Unfortunately, this is also a card of destructive environment in your house. And because this is a card of parents and the card of uh, children, it could be that you are still under influence of parents, uh, of your parents, which unfortunately are destructive for you, or your children probably you are staying in a very abusive uh, relationship could be even psychologically but they are very bad for your children because your children are uh, growing up in environment with a lot of trauma trauma so uh, please just uh, um, you um, your step should be saying goodbye to anything what is destructive and toxic whether it's relationship whether it's uh, you know relatives or uh or a job or just a, you are in a city uh or or in a house where everything reminds you of of there's uh, something really bad happening to you i know that some of you are gonna write me how do you do this how can you be so accurate it's not me being accurate uh, it's it's a spirit uh, talking with you so if it hits the the bell i have nothing to do with you i'm just reading you the card so um 
Number four, card number four. Ah, choices, choices, choices. Okay, so you are standing at this gate right here. You're not walking away from this gate. Interesting thing that it is negative card in love and relationship, but it is positive card in everything else. Let me sip some coffee. So this is a card where... um. You um, have to take initiative into your hands. Stop standing at this gate. You know, whether you're leaving somebody and walking away, whether it's a job, a relationship, or anything else, or um, you you got to take initiative in your hand because you you if you just stay here you know nothing's gonna change and you are pretty much staying here you're not walking into the gate but you're not uh walking away from the gate but if you are uh, if this is about a person and relationship it's another card of so called cold-hearted person the person who will not make the step towards you but at the same time is gonna hold you on a who keep it's that song which which is called you just keep me hanging on that so um you take your uh, initiative in your hands because if you walk through this gate, it brings a lot of great things into your life. It's getting power. It's getting resources. It's bringing your dreams and your plans into reality because this card is mirroring the card of sun, emperor, and magician, and chariot okay so you take control over your life your finances your well-being you take responsibility over your life everything is going to work so you what you must do in this situation you must stop standing here and walk forward you have to do it because the thing is behind this gate there is new things which are ready to walk into your life such things which which you you can't even dream about but you keep on standing here waiting you know waiting heck knows what probably for another person to act it's not gonna happen so new opportunities new love new things dreams you're out there at the other side of the gate so walk through uh, yes you have issues by making choice and by deciding something but by you know you you're uh, you know some of you are being a little covered is some of you are like i'm neutral i'm just gonna stay here you know what i'm just gonna stay here because who knows what's on the other side here at least i know what, what i have here walk through break through and so many great things are, are going to be there. But if you have to leave that someone with whom relationship freaking not working, uh, the problem is, my beautiful queens, like uh, this, this card has similar mirroring effect of the moon. You can be staying here for years. So walk, walk through. The last one, of course, uh, we are having Major Arcana Hangman. And... Um, we have two meanings here. Uh, first of all, if it is about uh, the uh, about the any situation, you're asking what I should do. Uh, it depends. Usually, uh, hangman is a negative card, but. If um, if it's a situation, for example, uh, you are in a university, you are in a school, you are studying and you are thinking, should I freaking just dump it all and go find myself a job and start working? No, this, um, this tells you, no, 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 you you need to to keep on hanging on and this is only positive card in the in the in the question what comes with um studying with a studying uh but uh anything else uh anything else because it depends on it on a um, question which you ask in a hanging hangman so if we are studying then yes just uh, uh just keep on hanging on if you are uh, if you're thinking to take a loan and to buy a house um then then you know it would be difficult because you're gonna be paying for many years to come uh you know 
you, you you're gonna be keeping you you're gonna be uh, hang on on the uh, loan but anything else anything else you are sacrificing yourself and of course this is negative stop sacrificing yourself whether it is um, whether it is a job or relationship it's not gonna change until you see that his hands are free and he can untie himself pretty much and uh, just walk away so uh, please um, if you uh, uh, if you are um, being hanging on as sacrifice so you please must get away from this situation because if you don't you're gonna keep on hanging on there for a very long time to come uh, just uh, uh, that that is the answer to your question it's an answer to your question uh, don't be a victim do not victimize yourself don't be an intellectual victim or spiritual victim or whatever victim you consider that's the only way you must do no that's the only not the only way you must do apathy uh absence of moving forward uh you know sadness could be even depression you you lost control you don't you you're telling yourself i cannot influence absolutely nothing uh, or maybe you're blaming yourself and you're saying that uh you deserve it all no absolutely not your next step should be realizing you are the master of your life and you're just untying yourself and you stop hanging and you move forward because please you have to become free and it's up to you you're passively just sacrificing you passively passively uh, torturing yourself and allowing uh, other torturing yourself and if it's a relationship that you are a victim of a manipulation or a narcissist click the link under the video and watch the videos of dr romani but you um, this is also a card um, uh, which talks about someone who needs extra help in recovering and uh, you know stop hanging because you might have been hanging so long you know a good therapist would help uh, so just uh, get uh, stop being hanging take control over your life and uh, see the things how they are and uh, take uh, actions and change your life here that it tells you that this my beautiful queen soul about this reading i uh, hope it was helpful if you need to reach me my email and all the information under this video namaste